Last time we improved Chariot's turn to where Yellow the Cat was hiding by using the built-in gyro. That helped, but we discovered that the turn didn't always end up the same distance from Yellow. That was because Chariot wasn't always in the middle of the road when it started the turn. This time we'll try to get Chariot to stay in the middle of the road by using the color sensor to follow the edge of the road. What we don't get done in this episode, we'll finish in the next one. Since the last episode, I've gone through our program and added comments to remind us what various parts of the program are supposed to do. Adding comments will help you and your teammates understand what your program is intended to do. That will make it easier to debug and add new features. During this episode, you'll see me add comments as I add new blocks. One way of following the road is to use a color sensor to follow the edge of the road. We can mount the sensor on one side of the robot and have it measure the amount of light reflected from the mat. Let's add a color sensor to the right side of the robot so we can follow the right edge of the road. When the color sensor receives a small amount of light, it will know it's over the dark road and it needs Cherry to move slightly right to get back to the edge of the road. When the color sensor receives a large amount of reflected light, the program will know that it's over a white part of the mat on the right side of the road, and it needs to move a little left to get back to the edge. First, let's take out the block that moved the robot 17 and a half inches down the road. Now let's add some blocks to accomplish the same thing using line following. Let's start with a forever block. The name of the block is short for repeat the following blocks forever. Let's add an if then else block because we want to do one thing when the sensor is over the road and a different thing when it's not. The if condition should be based on the amount of light so let's add a sensor block that looks for less than a certain percentage. We need to select the sensor connected to port B because Chariot now has two color sensors and we're going to use the one on the right side. Then we change the amount it's looking for to 60% because that's somewhat more than the amount we expect the sensor to receive when it's over the dark road. When the sensor detects less than 60% reflected light, the if condition will be true and the then part of the block will execute. Let's plug a start moving block in the then part and set it to a slight right turn. Let's choose 15 out of 100 as the amount of the turn. This will cause the then part to cause Chariot to go forward with a slight right turn when the sensor sees the road. After moving in that direction for a bit, the sensor will no longer be completely over the road, so the sensor will no longer detect less than 60% because it'll be over a white part of the map. This will cause the if condition to become false and the else part of the block to execute. When this happens, we need Chariot to keep moving forward while turning slightly left so it is more centered on the road. Let's add another start moving block to the else part and set it to move Chariot forward while turning slightly left. Chariot will repeat this process over and over as it moves down the road. If all goes well, it will stay relatively centered on the road. Let's save our improved program and then read the new part. Repeat the following blocks forever. If the color sensor connected to port A measures reflected light less than 60%, then start moving slightly right. Else, start moving slightly left. Let's see what happens. Chariot followed the right edge of the road, but it didn't know when to stop. That's because we used a forever block. We could try to make the line following smart enough to follow the edge of the road as it turns sharply left. Instead, let's use the color sensor on the left side of the robot to detect when Chariot reaches the left turn. That sensor should see a shift from being over the white mat to being over the dark road. Let's replace the forever block with a repeat until block. Let's fill in the until part with a sensor block. Let's have it watch for the amount of reflected light detected by the sensor connected to port A 
becoming less than 60%. That will cause the repeat until to stop repeating when chariot gets to the turn. When that happens, we need chariot to move a little farther before it turns left. Let's add a move block and have chariot go forward for another two and a half inches. Then it can make its left turn. Before we save the program, let's disconnect the blocks that turn chariot towards yellow and the blocks that follow it. That way we can take a close look at where chariot ends up before the right turn. Now let's save the program. Let's see what happens. Okay, it detected where the road turns left and it turned left and headed down the road to where yellow is hiding. But the part of the program that moves Chariot down this part of the road doesn't use line following, so it drifted from the center of the road. We'll fix that in the next episode.